On today's episode, an unlikely trio. Alex Lifeson works with two other guitarists for a new thing. Roll the intro. Welcome back to the show, everybody, and happy Saturday. Um, so I'm recording this on Thursday. Today's Thursday. Today's Thursday. Uh, so it's slightly old news, but, you know, whatevs. This comes from Guitar World magazine. Alex Lifeson is working with Tom Morello and Kirk Hammett on new material. Uh, a collaborative track with, from the trio will appear on a new album being assembled by the Rage Against the Machine guitarist. Uh, so this is kind of exciting. And significantly less uh, depressing than our last story. I just, re- I just recorded the, uh, the Friday episode, and holy fuck. <laughs> I hate the world. <laughs> Rush legend Alex Lifeson, that guy, has teamed up with Tom Morello, that guy, and Metallica's Kirk Hammett, that guy, for a collaborative track which is set to appear on an album currently being assembled by the Rage Against the Machine guitarist. Speaking to Ultimate Classic Rock, Lifeson said, I think this is a project that he's working on with a bunch of different musicians. I don't really know what the future holds for it, but I really love doing it. This could be interesting. Uh, I, I personally like love Rush. Uh, love Alex Lifeson. Uh, one of the most underrated guitarists, in my opinion, of all time. Um, I don't feel the same way about Tom Morello, but you know what? Dates their own. Uh, and Kirk Hammett is, is a wanker. <laughs> That's all I have to say. According to UCR, Morello sent over different riffs as a starting point during a virtual guitar summit, giving both Lifeson and Hammett plenty of creative freedom for their additions. Lifeson revealed, Morello said, put whatever you want on it, the more the merrier. He was going to give it to Kirk Hammett and Kirk was going to do the same thing. So probably a lot of wah pedal. A-, a lot of wah pedal. Being the contrarian, I did all of these other styles, not just the heavy rock. We were all talking to each other while doing it, and we had such a riot. I sent my stuff in, and it went to Kirk then, and he sent his stuff in. The record will likely be the latest in Morello's collaborative solo efforts, the most recent of which was 2020's Commandant. Commandant? I don't know. I don't speak commie. EP, which featured a guitar duel with Slash. whoop de doo Lifeson is also also has a new record in the works. Earlier this week, the Rush guitarist revealed he has paired up with former Coney Hatch bass guitarist Andy Curran and aims to have the 10-track outing released by late summer, early fall this year. This will also mark Lifeson's first full-length musical effort since Rush announced their retirement in 2018. Uh, obviously, Rush kind of retired um, due to, well, basically everyone's getting old and just couldn't tour anymore, and Neil especially was having a hard time. Um, and then in 2020, uh, we sadly lost Neil Peart, the drummer. Um, yeah, and Rush, you couldn't do Rush with anyone else. It would not be right. Andy approached me about four years ago, shortly after the last Rush tour, about adding some guitar on some of the things he was doing. Lifeson revealed to Sweetwater. I did that a few months later. He sent another one. I did that. Then we started getting more serious, and then we found a great singer, Maya Ween? Ween? I don't know. So we've basically done an album's worth of material that we hope to release sometime soon. I'm really excited about that. Me too. I'd like to see to hear some more uh, more Alex Lifeson. Um, for those who don't know, Rush, like, in the nine, late 90s, did a hiatus um, after Neil uh, lost his wife and kid um and yeah so the band kind of went on hiatus uh and alex didn't do much during that time but he did do he did produce a record for the new metal band lifer um which had the guitarist or one of the guitarists from breaking benjamin before breaking benjamin was a thing and so highly recommend checking that out but yeah, Lifeson appears to not really do much outside of Rush, but if he's doing stuff now, then hell yeah. I'm all for it. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. So thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you feel like it. And please leave a comment telling me if I did a shitty job or a good job or if you have something you want me to talk about. Um, I'm really trying to do this more and trying to get it to a bigger audience. So anything helps. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash bk underscore VTuber. I like to try and stream twice a week. Um, 
And you can also follow me on Twitter at BKVTuber, no underscore, uh, where I occasionally shit post and give you my, my basic bitch opinions about things. All right. Peace.